Now that we have the hang of flying, we're going to go participate in this competition. Um, she's going to go talk to her daddy. And here comes Gruz. Now, I hate his theme song. I really do not like it. Um, so far, actually, I'm not really impressed with the songs of Skyward Sword. Again, I'm, at the time of me adding this, uh, this commentary and audio, um, I'm about halfway down the game, and there hasn't been a single song that stood out to me as being good. Like, Ocarina of Time had all these catchy songs. But this one, the quality is better because it's orchestrated, but the songs themselves aren't very catchy or original, in my opinion. But here's another... These guys, the Harry Potter pal, they greatly remind me of Harry Potter. But pretty much, the winner is going to get themselves a sailcloth from Zelda. And this guy would love nothing more than to sniff him, I mean, to have Zelda's sailcloth. He has a thing for her, he hasn't caught on yet. And he always has a thing for saying stuff when she's around that she would not appreciate so here's another time like that our special moment what do you think it means he's a dude talking to a couple of other dudes you know what it means so alright they're gonna go head off to the race and his pals are gonna follow Alright, so they're going to be cheating during this uh, competition, but as I said earlier, it's like we are the real uh, cheaters because this thing is rigged. No matter what you do, you're going to win this contest. So I don't know why I even bother putting it in here. I guess it's just more flying tutorials. It could have progressed the story in another way, in my opinion, if they were going to force you to do this and not really have any different outcome. I don't know if you guys uh, pay attention there, but those three colors are the three colors of the uh, goddesses from Ocarina of Time, Nauru, Faror, and Den, red, green, and blue. Flying in there like that, pretty interesting. They have a lot of references like that throughout the game, and we'll be seeing some more of those later on. Alright, so he's got to explain the rules. Alright, I think I get him. Gift from a young woman chosen to play a goddess. Here's another um, Zelda anniversary reference. They said that this is the 25th anniversary of the school or whatever, and this is the 25th anniversary to the Legend of Zelda series. As I mentioned uh, a couple of videos ago, they got a lot of different references in the game to stuff like that and if you play Ocarina of Time 3D they had some references uh, to Skyward Sword in the form of official art hanging throughout different buildings and hiding behind boxes and stuff so Nintendo's really gone out of the way to put a couple of easter eggs in these last couple of Zelda games anyways yeah the race is off you just jump off call your bird and as he was explaining what we need to do is uh, fly our lost wing and catch up to the one that they have flying around there with a trophy attached to it, and then you just want to grab it. So, it's not all that hard. And if you properly use your burst of speed, you really shouldn't have come out there. I didn't realize that I had to press A, so I missed it. I just figured it was going to like trigger this scene automatically. That's my mistake, I suppose. So we'll just keep chasing after. Um, bam, bam. Come on. This guy's fast. These other guys should have had this ages ago, but they apparently aren't actually capable of catching it. I'm gonna fly right at it. Press A. Alright, there we go. And as we get it, uh, he's going to cheat and ram into us. 
knocking us away. And then his friends are going to be throwing eggs at us. Oh, how nice of them. So they, they actually will throw eggs, I wasn't kidding, and they will smack you, but it doesn't really do any damage to you. It just kind of momentarily stops you. And then I guess you just have to catch back up to the bird and try again. And this should be it. Alright, there we go. We got the bird statue. So that's the trophy we're looking for. Here we go. Show everybody that you won. <laughs> She's just gonna jump right down at you. No concern for her safety. She's excited. Alright, so they're gonna get on that ceremony, which is on top of a tower by themselves. Here we go. Um, let's put that in there. Alright. Perfect fit, just like a glove. Now look at Zelda. This is interesting. Seeing her in a non-royal state, chasing after Link. That's something that we're used to here in the Zelda series, where they really don't have any kind of relationship past being, hey, you're a princess, I'm a hero kind of thing. Minish Cap had a slight relationship. Wind Waker even had a little bit of one, but all the other games, it really hasn't been all that close. Here we go. Take it off. Wow, wow. He's like, yeah, I'm looking. Oh, just a sailcloth. You got the sailcloth. It smells nice too. What a creep. Link is a creep. Alright, now let's see, um, after this, she's going to lead us on a little bit. I have no idea. She's going in, she's going in. Like, Link's gay, he's like, I don't want none of that. Alright, apparently we had to jump down into that circle down there, finish the ritual. Uh, I'm not ready to jump, and she has a thing for pushing Link off of cliffs. Now I'm going to fail and miss entirely here, because I was not sure how the controls work. They seem to take you in the opposite direction, so you got to get used to the controls there. Yeah, I guess I'm ready. Alright, let's do it. Jump! A lot better this time. Alright, when we can land, hopefully that counts. Alright, good, good. I was thinking it wouldn't count since I landed just on the perimeter of the circle. She was a champ, she would have jumped down without a sailcloth. Oh. Now, the rest of this video is a cutscene. This is where uh, Zelda gets captured, 
and Link is attacked by a tornado and rendered incapable of helping. He wakes up in his bed a little bit later, and the next video will pick off after this cutscene in Link's bedroom. So I'm going to let you guys watch this, and thank you again, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Oh. 